Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome, welcome, welcome to teach yourself testautomation.com, my blog. I'm teaching myself a, a test automation. The tool I'm going to teach myself first is Selenium WebDriver with Java, right? I employ you to come along as a test analyst. That's why I've got it up here a call to test analyst. Time to sharpen your skill sets, right? So follow along, learn some new tools yourself, uh, develop your skill sets not only for developing your career, but if you find yourself out of the job market or in the job market, then you are, you are, your skill sets are, you know, what the market desires at the time. So you find a job in no time, right? So we are on day two and we are still constructing our environment, right? So day two is about Eclipse installation, right? We're gonna be fast on this, please, because um, it takes a while to download Eclipse, right? So I'm just gonna give you a brief I'm not going to go through the whole process myself. I'm just going to show you what to do, and then in the latter stages we'll go we'll go for the um, we'll go through the process, right? Now, Eclipse. You can go to my blog and you read what Eclipse Eclipse is. Eclipse is basically uh, used to write uh, Selenium tests, right? So your test scripts in Selenium, you use Eclipse as the interface to write your test scripts, right? And it's an editor, an IDE, right? Uh, it's a free it's free, so it's open source, right? And uh, you have to have Java. This is a this is a key one. You have to have Java installed on your machine before you install or download Eclipse, right? It cannot be the other way around. Otherwise, your test scripts will not run, right? At the time of me writing my blog, the Eclipse has got plenty of versions out there, right? At the time of me writing this blog, it's Semrel 2018-09, right? But and guess what? At the time of me going to download this new version and making this um, video, it has changed, right? It has changed. So in my in my blog, I direct you to go up here and you just right click and you say open a new tab and it will open the Eclipse official website, right? It open this page, this page, right? And that's it. That's why I told you it's changed, right, from what's on my blog. So the version now is Eclipse IDE 2018-09, right? <clears throat> now, you can go ahead and click on this download button, but you don't really want to do that because you have all sorts of um, other bits added onto your Eclipse you're downloading, right? Or if you want to download the exact package you're going to use, you want to click download packages, right? So when you download, uh, click on download packages, if you go back to the blog, you see what you actually need. It's Eclipse IDE for Java developers, right? So you go back to the Eclipse um, official website and you see there's all sorts of Eclipse here for various um, requirements, right? So this is the one you actually need, right? Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Now. They, you've got various operating systems here and the bits, right? And I tell you, I use Windows and I'm pretty sure that 90 and above percent of most laptops and PCs are 64 bits, right? So you want to click on that 64 bit and there is a wee, a, a .exe file will start downloading on your left here, right? And you want to let that download and click on right click and say open when done right so the once it's the download is uh, it's completed there it will open a window here and you just have to follow the prompt on the screen right and just follow that it's very straightforward just next next and follow the instructions on the screen right and once you've done that you've got to as you're doing that you've got to note the path right the path to which the eclipse is going to be downloaded onto your machine right i'll tell you what i'm talking about right so when I was downloading my Eclipse, it went into this current path, right? So I'll go back. It went into my C drive, users, OASU, and you see in here Eclipse, right? And no, this folder down here, Eclipse, and Eclipse work, uh, work, work space, right? I'll tell you all about that later. But this is a folder you're interested in. If you double click in there, you see there is a Java. So that tells you that you have to have Java on your machine before you download Eclipse. Otherwise, if you do the other way around, Eclipse will not work. So if you double click in here, 
that's your Eclipse folder, folder, and if you double click in here, this is what you require, right? So if you have that on your machine, you have successfully downloaded Eclipse, right? So now you want to double click that, right? Double click it to launch the Eclipse, right? And that's Eclipse launched launch just now, so we just wait for a bit. Now this will pop up, right? And you will see this um, path. Now, remember the folder before this? Go back and back and back again. See that? So go back to the clips. That is where this folder is where it's going to contain all your test cases you're going to run in Eclipse, right? So that just maps to that folder there. Every time you run a test case in Eclipse, your test cases are stored in that folder. So you can also make a note of that. So go ahead and click launch. <coughs> save time in the future you might want to right click here and pin this to the toolbar okay right click and pin it so you always have it there and you can launch from here you don't need to go and launch from your c drive right we'll just wait for that to complete come on Right, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please uh, drop down and hit the subscri subscription um, the link and click on the bell icon so that you get um, videos as I put them out. Right, So we're on day two, we're just going to keep going and uh, tackle topics as we get along. So we're still setting up the environment, right? So this is the screen you're going to get, right? You want to forget about all this and all you want to click is Workbench, okay? So click on Workbench. Sure it's doing something it is indeed now you have successfully downloaded your, Escl your eclipse and you've launched it and this is going to be your workbench right this is where you are going to be writing all your test cases right or i am going to be teaching myself how to write test cases and you're going to be following along right because that's a premise right i'm teaching myself um selenium with web with, um, with java selenium web driver with java and I'm recording it and uh, measuring my progress and putting it out there so that you guys could all follow along and see if you know you are interested in learning yourself or you know just I thought I'd teach myself and you know share as well as I went along okay right so that's you done for day two and um, why I make this day one day two day three and onwards is particularly to show the measure of things I do on a daily basis, right? So I could tell you that, oh, you can learn um, a Selenium web driver with Java in X plus days, okay? So that's all done for um, day two. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get the videos as they come out, okay? And uh, comment, engage, please. This is about, um, you need a constant feedback as well, right? So I know what I'm doing is um, actually helping you as well as helping myself as well right okay so that's all for today let's get out of this <clears throat> mm -hmm.